now I've decided that I've got a touch of ADHD because I start jobs and then see something else that needs doing and I go and start that job and I find myself involved in three or four different things at once. So I'm trying to concentrate on the flatbed rocket stove. What I've done, I'm going to show you in a moment. Now, in last week's video, I asked you all for help, and the response has been amazing. Every moment during the day that I've had, and certainly in the evenings, I've been sitting down answering the um, chats that I've been having on, on YouTube with regards to modifying this thing so that we can get some heat to go down into the oven at the bottom without having to increase the actual power of the stove because the cooking on the top is amazing. We don't need any more heat up here. So to get heat down, we've been looking at complicated fans and ducting and another firebox that comes in underneath. But what I want to do is keep it simple. I want to do the easiest suggestion first, and that suggestion was to increase the surface area of the bottom so that it will radiate the heat into the oven. Pretty much the same as the fins on an air-cooled motorbike engine or lawnmower motor. So, I've found some bits of box section that I had lying around that, wasn't, that weren't going to get used for anything else and I've welded those to the bottom making sure that they're clean and making good contact underneath and what that's going to do is more than double the surface area of the hottest part instead of just having the flat plate we've now got the flat plate plus all of these which is approximately double and we're hoping that that is going to pull the air down into the oven. Now the second modification I'm going to be doing while I have it here on the bench is creating a good seal around here because at the moment I've got a gap that's up to a quarter of an inch and hot air is piling out of there. So I'm going to weld some strips around the outside and they will provide a cleaner, tighter fit around the oven.
Okay. Now we've got a lip around the bottom to seal onto the oven and some rinse to transfer the heat. I'll give it a quick wire brush up and clean. I won't bother painting it just yet because we don't even know if it's going to work. Thing back together, eh? After fitting the uh, fire bricks back into the box, the next job is to rope with the fiberglass rope around the edge and replace the cook plate. Get the thing fired up, select some nice pencil thin bone dry sticks to get it started. Time for the first set of temperatures. Normally as it warms up, it's around 230, 240. Well that's 25 degrees warmer than it was last time. I think we're on the right track. If I was to put those um, heat transferers under the whole thing and insulate the stove, I reckon we've got it sorted.